and rush salmon with three tomatoes. In essence, taking your favorite heavy duty pan or skillet, turning it into a sort of miniature oven and doing three things. First, searing the salmon. Second, making a sauce for it. And then third, putting the two together and finishing them at the same time. So step one, sear the salmon. And that means preheat the pan. Preheating that pan is one of the secrets to making sure that whatever goes into it doesn't stick. Salmon, chicken, beef, pork, whatever you're searing, preheat the pan. Now the whole point of searing is to add flavor without burning. So your choice of oil actually matters. It's best not to use olive oil because olive oil has a low smoke point. Better to use an oil like canola oil or safflower or sunflower oil. These are all oils that can handle more heat and thus add more flavor. Now at this point, I'm really only worried about one thing, and that's adding flavor to the salmon, not cooking it all the way through. That part comes at the end of pan rushing. Step one is all about adding flavor, getting that sear, that crispy crust, that, that bit that tastes so good when you eat good cooked salmon. Take a peek. As soon as you've got a sear on both sides of that salmon, it's time to move on to step two. We'll kill the heat, take the salmon out of the pan. Step one, seared salmon. On to step two, a flavorful sauce. Starting with onions and garlic. Ever wonder why every single recipe seems to start with onions and garlic sauteed somehow? It's actually pretty simple. It's because they taste good. It's a great way to build a flavor base for a sauce, for basically any sauce. Three tomatoes. Canned tomatoes, dried tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. All of these tomatoes have flavor, ripe flavor, unlike those Rock hard red round objects at the supermarket, masquerading as tomatoes, the ones that bounce, they don't have real tomato flavor. These three have tomato flavor. Plus a little bit of dried oregano, maybe a tablespoon or so. Three tomatoes plus onion plus garlic plus oregano equals tomato sauce, but not long simmering tomato sauce, speedy tomato sauce. As soon as this is heated through, it's ready to move on to step three, bringing the salmon back to the tomatoes and finishing the two together. Last but not least, a lid. Then turn the heat all the way down to the lowest setting. I've just created a miniature oven. The lid is going to capture the heat within the pan. It's also going to capture the moisture, and that moisture is very efficient at speedily finishing that salmon. The salmon is done in just a few minutes, as soon as it heats through. And when it's done, wouldn't it be nice if some fresh oregano was ready for it? Why use dried oregano and fresh oregano in the same dish? Because dried oregano needs a little bit of moisture to wake up, and that little bit of simmer time is going to do that. And fresh oregano, it's not quite as strongly flavored as dry oregano. It's the perfect ingredient to add at the end of the recipe to keep that, that fresh flavor alive. See all that steam? That says done. Also says flavor. And a last second burst of heat is all this fresh oregano needs. Pan rush salmon with three tomatoes. From start to finish, less than 15 minutes in the pan. Never let it be said that you can't get a whack of flavor on the table in a hurry. 